Just a little bit of show and tell today. Showing off what I've bought. I'm only going to be keeping in the car from now on. I was on Gumtree. It's similar to what you've got over there in the United States with Craigslist. People post ads about selling stuff, buying stuff. Anyway, managed to pick up this four foot single man crosscut saw. Cost me $10. Took it in to heat dealer. He reckoned it was worth about 40 so I thought at that price I might as well hold on to it. So I just tested it out earlier on a dead tree. It's a bit of work, but I think it's worth carrying in the car all the time. And what's more, I'll take it into town this week. There's a bloke in there that sharpens saws, so I'll get him to tidy this up for me. That'll take a lot, a lot of the hard work out of it. But when you're unfit like me, and when you've never, never done this before, it's definitely hard work. Those old, old fellas back in the early, not, those old fellas back in the early 20th century, they must have been fit as bloody Mally Bulls. Soaring away with these all day. Anyway, enough of me yabbering on. I'll set the camera up and I'll just cut through a small tree that's laying down here. Now it's not much of a tree, I know. But a tree this size across the road can ruin your day. A couple of years ago I was driving down the highway. There was a gum tree about this size. It had fallen across the road after a storm, or during a storm. And it had held up traffic for a couple of hundred metres in every direction. I was the only one lucky enough to have a chainsaw with me. But if you're not running them every couple of weeks, the modern fuel these days gums up in the carby of the chainsaw, then they can be a bugger to start. This one, they're a bugger to use, but they're easy enough to start. There you go. Keep it a bit of work involved if you're not used to it. But like I said, it'll get you out of trouble. And because of that, I'm going to keep using the car. <coughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.